Hi, Intuitive D1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Starseed family, y'all. Let's get into this thing. <laughs> um, thank you guys for liking the video on your way in. If you enjoy my content, as well as subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you can know when I upload. I love reading you guys' comments. I don't get a chance to reply to all of them. Um let's get into this so we have somebody over here okay clearly somebody is missing you okay um there could be multiple people in y'all's fan club of course um but somebody here it's like they're still not taking accountability okay it's like somebody here they could be blaming you or so or karmisha or kwan is bl is blaming somebody for something happening within a connection here um i really feel like you know somebody is really telling somebody like you know, F your feelings, I'm done, done. Like, that's what I'm getting here. Like, and this could be you guys telling somebody this, okay? But even so, I feel like somebody is walking away from a situation that they feel no longer serves them, okay? Um, I feel like you guys are just focused on, you know, yourself, your healing, right? Your family, the community, the collective, you know, your passions, whatever that may be, okay? No one can stop your flow at this time. There definitely is somebody that has reciprocated feelings, um, for you um but this is somebody that's really been holding back their emotions okay um but it's like somebody wants to apologize somebody wants to get something off of their chest here okay so you could have somebody here with the uh hierophant seven of wands and the six of swords here i feel like somebody here for some of y'all somebody could be at a distance or, or you guys are just moving yourself into calmer waters here okay i feel like your spiritual team is protecting you it's like you know you know it's a karmic connection when pretty much the other person makes you feel like you can't do nothing right okay so i feel like whoever you're dealing with here they're realizing that they persevered in the wrong connection okay or they listen to the wrong people here that's what i'm getting with the hierophant um somebody's family work or another connection could have gotten in the way here that's what i'm seeing it's like it's becoming a burden for somebody here I feel like your spiritual team is protecting you from anybody that doesn't have sincere intentions when it comes to partnering together with you. Okay, somebody really could have some type of legal or court situations that are coming up here. Okay, somebody is very defensive. And somebody was very strategic, okay? Or they want to be strategic in how they come back around to you. That's what I'm getting with this card in reverse. With failure, catast uh, cast away, poor. Somebody feels in reverse. Somebody wants to come out of the cold with you. This is like the five of pentacles reversed to me. So this is somebody that wants to come back around. They're trying to think of whatever strategies they can. Okay. Um, they could be trying to do some type of mental manipulation to bring you back. Or somebody could have been doing some type of binding on you or this person. All of that has backfired here. Okay. It's like somebody is realizing that you are a blessing in their life. Okay. Fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. Um, I feel like you guys are going through some type of spiritual ascension or spiritual upgrades as well. Um, and there's somebody here that's realizing that they should have fought for your connection. They should have put more work in. Okay. They should have taken some type of promise serious with you. Okay. It's like somebody here, um, they could feel like they made a promise to the wrong person for some of you. Okay. But I feel like everything somebody's been going through within a karmic connection has just confirmed to them that they, you know, that they made the wrong decision in the path that they went on here. Yeah, somebody here, they could very well want to give you something. It's like somebody wants to clear the air with you. Somebody could very well get a promotion as well or a new job. I see that here. There's some type of blessing coming in for you guys. So some of you guys, it's, it's going to be some type of spiritual love connection. Okay, whether it's a renewal or whether it's with somebody new or you know whoever it is that you know you could currently be dating somebody could be getting engaged as well um or somebody just could want to take things to the next level with you okay so depending on you know what your relationship status is um but i feel like somebody is hesitating here okay somebody with decision confusion worry it's like somebody could be worried about coming and clearing the air with you okay there's some type of gain though that you're receiving okay with cultivation profit conclusion here um 
it's like somebody wants to invest with you okay somebody is worried though about whether or not you would receive their offer here as well somebody could have been trying to stop somebody or block somebody from coming towards you or connecting with you here somebody could have been trying to block your stability or your finances but all that has backfired okay and i feel like somebody is seeing this here and they very well could be in spiritual court okay for um for what they've been doing in the spiritual realm okay so with the hermit card here i feel like somebody here it's like they could be worried that you're dating somebody else here it's like somebody doesn't want to reach out to you if they feel like they're going to be uh shot down okay somebody could be watching a relationship or a partnership okay somebody could be watching somebody's home i don't know why i'm getting that but okay um I feel like somebody here is is studying everything that you're doing here. Okay, so this could even be a third party that's on the outside of your connection here. Um, it's like somebody knows that somebody with the page of cups, somebody wants to apologize. They want to clear the air. Okay. Some of you guys could be meeting somebody new. Okay, if you're, you know making it a point to come out of hermit mode and kind of go out there and mingle and get to know more people, whatever the situation is, it's like, you know, whoever it is that you're meeting, you know, you already know that you're not here for the drama. <laughs> okay. With the five of wands in reverse here. I do feel like there is somebody here that there was some type of drama or some type of fight or some type of disagreement. Okay. This person wants to clear the air. Okay. They want to clear the air. And this is somebody that you could have been silent from or in silence with, right? Um, yeah, there's something about some type of vow, wish, hope, some type of partnership here, okay, where someone definitely was deceptive or somebody was like trying to, you know, exploit a situation. Somebody was being an unfair. Somebody could have been deceitful, okay? Somebody could have been trying to sneak away from one partnership, okay, and go to another partnership, <laughs> y'all somebody was doing the most y'all like somebody really was just man going from situation to situation here okay um, or somebody really could just want to get out of whatever situation they're in right now so they can come towards you okay but i feel like somebody here was in some type of fantasy land there was some type of illusion here um and i feel like it's coming to light okay this also is giving me a, the energy of you know somebody only dating somebody it's like a romance scam type thing. It's, it's giving me, it's giving me con vibes. It's giving me somebody only trying to date somebody for what they feel that they can gain, um, and keeping that person in an illusion and making them feel like they're really invested in them. So maybe, uh, you guys have gone through that situation or maybe Carmisha or Quan is, you know, is doing that with your person, um, or somebody in your energy here. And I feel like with pride here, self-esteem, self-worth, ego, I feel like somebody could also be fantasizing or trying to think about ways and how they can get back in your energy here. Okay. And they could be very well disturbed feeling like, you know, you partnering together with somebody else, but this could have been somebody that, you know, wasn't honest, didn't treat you right. Okay. I feel like you've, you freed yourself from a situation here. Okay. With donation, pray, religion, um, yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of different people that are watching you here. Okay, this person could be talking about you as well. There's something about people watching you collectively here. So some of you guys could definitely be in the spotlight in some type of way here. I feel like you guys are definitely divinely protected against any type of spiritual attacks that anybody has been trying to send you or if they've been trying to project their low vibrational energy on you. Okay, it's like somebody is heavy, heavy in their pride um, when it comes to apologizing with you, but it, or apologizing to you or speaking to you here or taking accountability, uh, you know, for the way that they left or the way that they, the things that they said, um, it's like somebody here has some emotional maturing to do right with the five of cups here. Somebody is very upset. Okay. They're very emotional. Okay. Somebody could be very remorseful here over some situation that's ha happened within the past five months or the past three years here. Okay. Somebody could be disappointed about a work situation or about their finances or about, you know, someone being deceptive on who they were working together with or who they were actually talking to or dating. Two people could be dating somebody different as well. It's like two people could be dating somebody different and not really dating or in a relationship with the person that they really want here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting a whole lot of different messages 
is here okay somebody could also be like there's could be something going on with where the money is going within some type of um financial setting here somebody is really worried here it's like somebody instead of facing confrontation on you know what the hell they've been doing it's like they try to flee the scene here I don't know what's going on here, but somebody here was definitely trying to control a situation, okay? They were being a dictator. They were trying to dominate a situation here, but someone's not no longer in fantasy land, okay? All illusions are down. Somebody is seeing the truth about a situation here, okay? Or truths are coming to light here. Um, somebody is learning a powerful lesson as well here, okay? Somebody could be going through some type of spiritual awakening, okay? This could be somebody that was heavy in their pride or their ego here, Okay, things could have had to be their way. I feel like somebody's going through some type of ego death here. Okay, somebody needs to transform. Okay, it's like somebody was confident um, in whatever, you know, it's, it's the type of energy where somebody might not flat out lie, but they're not telling you the whole truth. So somebody is definitely has definitely been telling somebody half truths. Okay, 11, 11 on the timer. Okay confinement here somebody could feel trapped within a situation or they could be worried um about their freedom as well somebody wants to end a situation where they felt trapped here okay somebody as well could have felt like they like something was uh someone wasn't seeing something straight yeah they could very well feel like they were uh I don't know. I'm kind of getting like somebody walking in a daze, really. So I don't know if somebody was under some type of heavy spell work or somebody was taking a lot of different substances. But it's like somebody wasn't in their sound mind when they were making some type of decision here. OK, there's a whole lot of conflict going on. OK, this could be conflict between, um, you know, whoever, maybe your person and their co-workers or different, you know, whoever, whatever situation this is here, somebody is not seeing something clearly here. OK. It's like somebody here was trying to keep the wool over somebody's eyes. Somebody could be fighting because somebody could be in jail or going to jail here. Somebody that tried to end something for you that was heavy in their ego. It's like they're learning a powerful lesson here, you know, to, to stop playing in your energy here. It's like they cannot dominate or control you. Okay. <laughs> like that's no. Like what's going on here? Ten of Wands. Somebody is heavily burdened here. Okay, it's like this is a lot of abundance, you know, all these different crates of fruit here. So I really feel like someone here, it's like the harvest is picked, but there's nobody around celebrating here. So I feel like it, it's like it's giving like somebody thought they were going to have a victory, but it was an empty victory. It's like, it's like, you know, the people that have a, a lot of money, right? Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. If somebody is very, very abundant, they have, a, you know, a lot of money, but then they don't really have anybody around them that truly loves them to share their life with. It, it's that type of energy here. I feel like somebody is learning a powerful lesson in being materialistic or in, in not really you know, treating their partners, um, in, in a fair way here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody feels really empty within a home or they're feeling nostalgic within a home or they're feeling, um, I don't know. They feel like, you know, they could have had an emotionally fulfilling life with you and they feel like they could have, um, you know, chose obligation for some of you. It could have even been culture or religion with that hierophant being the first card out. Somebody has a lot of different mistakes here. Yeah. Somebody feels like they blindly walk themselves right into some type of trap here. Okay. We have victim allure trick unknown. It's like somebody could have realized that like they literally had, um, an enemy in their friend group or an enemy with who they were dating here, somebody that didn't have good intentions. I feel like all that's coming to light. Um, somebody's not able to take something from you or your person, or they're not able to, um, you know, take your time, your love, your energy here. It's like the truths have been revealed here. You know, you're not suffering. You're not in darkness. You're not in persecution here. Um, it's like, you know, you're free. You're a moral person, right? Um, I feel like you're working on bettering yourself as well here. And I feel like somebody here is like they really were only happy within a connection if they could be in control here. So somebody has some serious control issues here. Okay, somebody could even have some narcissistic tendencies here. It's like somebody wanted to control your destiny with fate here. 
Okay, coincidence. It's like somebody here, or fortune telling or fatalism. Whatever it says here, it's like whatever was destined for you here, it's like somebody was trying to control that. Or maybe they were lacking control when it came to knowing what their purpose or their destiny was here. So it's like they just allowed whoever else was around them um, to control them or manipulate them. It's like somebody wanted to please everybody else and they didn't fight for your connection or they didn't fight for... Um, you know, what would have been actually for their highest good here, okay? With the Knight of Wands here, <laughs> y'all, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, man. Y'all doing the most out here. You have multi multiple different people that have their eye on you, okay? For some of you guys, this could be new people coming in with the full card, okay? Like people that want to get to know you, Um but with the Knight of Wands here, that's a passionate energy that's travel and the Knight of Pentacles that's more consistent and slow. I feel like somebody was hot on your ass and then, you know, they got tempted in another direction here and they slowed down. Okay, or somebody could be even be traveling for work with the Knight of Pentacles as well. Or someone wants to travel over to see you. Okay. Somebody wants a new beginning. Okay, I, I feel like multiple people here want a new beginning here. Okay, somebody could just could um did I already say somebody traveling for work here? Yeah. Somebody feels like a fool though for being inconsistent. Okay. For for not taking your love seriously like they should have. Okay. Somebody could be going through some type of tower moment here because they took some type of risk. And you you really don't trust this person anymore. Okay. Um, they have to rebuild that if that's something that you're planning on doing. With disappointment, loneliness in reverse here, I feel like and commitment in reverse. Um, somebody is definitely breaking off a commitment that they feel is no longer serving them here. So whether that's you or whether that's some, you know, your person with Karbisha or Kwan here, it's like somebody wants to be partnered together with somebody that's trustworthy, that's honest, um, that's compatible with them. And, and, and you could have felt like whoever you were dealing with was non-committal or they were committed elsewhere. And it's like, you don't want to be lonely within any type of connection. Right. Um, we have care um, in reverse here. I feel like when somebody, uh, wow, yeah, when somebody went in a different direction here, persuasion, bribe, temptation, okay, when they went in a different direction or they were listening to different people, for some of you, they could have been listening to even family as well. It's like they didn't care about your feelings. Even if you were an upstanding person to this, you know, to this person and you treated them with love and respect, I feel like someone could have broke things off in a really harsh way as well it's like there's some type of injustice or bad karma that somebody is receiving here um because they did not show you care okay they did not show you love um in the way that they were supposed to okay and i feel like for everything that you've been through there is some type of reward um karmic reward that you are receiving here okay um this could be different things for different people right but with the four of pentacles here i feel like there is somebody else there's an offer you're receiving from the divine okay so some of you this could be a pay raise or this could be a lump sum a new car new home um you know a, a new trip whatever this is here but with the four of pentacles and the king of cups here i feel like somebody is realizing with the four and the ace that's the five of pentacles that they left themselves out from from really having a genuine um expanding connection with you okay somebody here might even drink and think about you here they could very well have been holding on to another situation they could have joint finances with another person as well they feel like they're being emotionally drained within that situation um somebody here could just feel like like they you know it's like they someone's been holding back a love offer for some of you, someone could be holding back a love offer or holding back a proposal because maybe they're saving here for an engagement ring or somebody could be saving for a wedding. I see that here as well. Um, but what I really do see is somebody has been holding back their emotions and their love for you um, because there's still some other situation that they need to get together or they need to bring up their finances or they feel they don't have enough to offer you right now. OK, um, that's what I'm seeing here. <clears throat> So with management plan organized here, it's like, yeah, somebody is definitely planning on offering you love somebody here, or this is an energy that you are, um, 
you know, that you're manifesting or, you know, you're praying in, right? <laughs> Eternity, consistency, soulmate. So someone does recognize um, that there is a, a higher level soul connection with you, okay? Somebody here with perseverance here, um, they do recognize that you've overcome a lot of different challenges, okay? It's like somebody wants to find a, a solution to any type of argument that they've had with you, okay? Um, this is somebody that also could feel like, you know, they, they should have... You know, been 10 toes down for you, right? Um, when other people were coming against you. And so it's like whoever was coming against you or talking against you or whatever they were doing here, it's like they're not getting their desired outcome. Okay. It's like they're not receiving, um, I don't know, something is being stripped from them for the way that they were targeting you. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. And that's like, ugh, whether this is, you know, somebody you already know or somebody new coming in, this is somebody that is, you know, going to persevere in a connection with you. This is not somebody that is just going to dip out when things get rough, right? So with the Ten of Swords and the Two of Pentacles over here, I really feel like some of you guys could be officially closing out like two different past uh, karmic connections. Okay. So that's for some of you, right. Um, or your person could be right. Cause sometimes people have ex spouses and they still have, you know, lingering, you know, energy there. And then sometimes they have, you know, um, ex girlfriends or ex boyfriends or whatever, or current girl, whatever the situation is, somebody could very well be ending out a situation where they felt like they had to juggle here. And you definitely are not going to be juggled by anybody period. OK, so whatever type of betrayal that's happened because somebody couldn't make up their mind, I, you know, because they wanted attention from other people. I feel like you recognize your worth, your value. OK, you're very successful in your endeavors and whatever it is you, you're doing here. OK, I feel like, you know, you're not lowering your standards for anybody. Right. So when somebody tries to come back to you or somebody is trying to ever put you in that situation, I feel like you're at the point of rejecting that offer. OK, somebody could be worried about you receiving attention from somebody else as well. OK, and this person has really betrayed you, whoever this person is with the Ten of Swords. So, I mean, this was really cool when this came out. This was like, <laughs> I was like, because I got multiple decks mixed together. I said, damn, y'all ain't playing out here. So success, victory, achievement twice. OK, double triumph here. OK, so it's like you closing out these cycles is bringing in a lot of blessings for you. It's like you're freeing yourself here. OK, you really are. OK, you're going to be in a more balanced, peaceful state here. OK, you're bringing in a different partnership if that's what you want here. OK, somebody could even want to heal some type of partnership or relationship here. Or you're just, um, like I said, manifesting in somebody else that will be committal, that will take their vows seriously. Right. That will be um, steadfast within your connection. And somebody very well could be getting out of one marriage or one connection and going into a different situation. I see that here you know, going into a different love connection and ending something with someone. Okay. And this really does have somebody, you know, going through some type of depression as well, or somebody could be afraid of, you know, their stability after, you know, a marriage dissolves or a relationship dissolves here. Um, but it's like, regardless, um, if you were partnered together with somebody that wasn't treating you right, I feel like, you know, you're heavily focused on self-love right now. You're, you know, you're healing, you're in an independent energy right now. And it's like, you're, you're starting something new, right? Or you're preparing yourself for, you know, a solid new beginning, um, in a new relationship. Okay. For whenever that comes in. Um, and yeah, y'all definitely, I mean, whether you date, if you're dating somebody in a relationship right now, um, and it's not a really a past person. It's a current situation. Or if you're manifesting in somebody new, like I see that here with the lover's card. It's like y'all going to be booed up with somebody here. OK, maybe by Gemini, Leo season, um, some of you cancer season. We have that here. But with the lover's card and the sun here, I feel like there's some type of the sun's the happiest card in the deck here. OK, I really do feel like somebody is taking time to heal um, inner childhood wounds so that they can attract healthier partners and choose healthier partners to connect with. Right. Or that's the goal here. But the chariot. Yes. Yeah, somebody here. 
<laughs> somebody could be coming over to see you as well or somebody wants to take you out here or you're just moving forward it's like you you know everything that you need to know you've seen it all okay it's like you know where you're going you're moving forward from the past overall energy is the world card right it's like you're more than okay you're excellent right you didn't let anybody trying to you know gossip against you or pull you down come against you yeah, people from your past here. You have a lot of different people that want to be back in your energy that are nostalgic here. Okay, there could be somebody that is trying to come back and reconnect with you. Yes, I see that here. Could be a multiple people. Or you have a new partnership that's coming in here. Okay, and that's coming in because you've learned lessons and you've closed out karmic cycles. So I love this here. This is an upgrade in energy here. Um, go ahead and put me some hearts down below, y'all. Uh, put me some champagne glasses or, or put me some uh, some travel emojis because some of y'all going to be traveling here. Money bags because your money is looking good. I love you guys. Thank you for spending time with me. Namaste.